In this video, I broke the world record for the biggest farm base ever in Rust. And I did this while the rest of the server tried to stop me over and over again. Now there's actually no way for me to know what the actual record for the biggest farm base is. And so to make sure I get the record, I would just have to make the farm base so big that nothing before even comes close. And so when I joined the server, I first found a place where I would be able to fit this farm base. And I found just that, behind Launchite down in this valley. And throughout the day, I slowly built up my base here. I then managed to get a decent start over on Oil Rig. Kinda shit. Also, let me quickly just go over my area and all the groups that live here. First, we have this base right next to mine. Then next to the fishing village, we have this weird little village. And then east of that, one of the big boys. He says. <laughs> and then on the other side of my base in the snow, we had another giant base. What the is that? Oh my god, that's another group. Okay, so I've, I live here, I have one group down here, and I have one big group there. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be caught in the middle. Yeah, we had quite the area. Not as peaceful as I would have hoped, but we could definitely make this work. Then for the rest of day one, I just finished my base, PvP'd a little around the area, and I also countered a raid. Very nice. Then came day 2, and the action came quickly as I started hearing footsteps inside my compound just as I logged in. What the... Well, someone's in my compound. I'm getting raided. Okay. I invited four of my subscribers, and whichever one of them finishes this poor core map I built first wins this gold face mask worth a hundred dollars. Bro, my heart is pounding. Bro, same. Everyone's? I'm a different breed. No, what am I doing? And I can give this away thanks to today's sponsor, Howl. They've just released a new update with slots, live games, and crypto withdrawals. You know. This is the first checkpoint? Yeah. You can now deposit your Rust skins, gamble on any slot you want, and withdraw your winnings to crypto. The parkour map turned out to be a little bit too hard, and so after 10 minutes, I decided to close down this first section. Bro. My hands are shaking. I could like beat this uh -huh. if I wasn't. If this wasn't for fun. Same I with mean, me. For... They've also added chat rain, where you can claim free money every 30 minutes without having to bet any of your own money. They have a free case that you can open daily and win up to $2,000. And for a limited time, you can receive a 40% bonus when depositing with gift cards or crypto. Use my code IOK for a free 50 cents to gamble with. Check it out using the link in the description. After another 20 minutes, I also closed down the second section. And now with only one section left, it was close. Go! Go, little boy! What is that? What he's is that? He's about to win! He's about to win! If he doesn't choke it, he's gonna win! No, I'll do it. You're gonna no. choke, trust. No, you are. Let's go! Uh, you made it. You. It's Brinda's fault. It's all, it's all your fault, bald Brinda. <laughs> your fault. Your fault. Uh, let's go! Jeez, dude. Again, thank you to Howl for making these fun events possible. How am I getting raided? I haven't done anything to anyone. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they thought this was gonna be an offline raid and so... Shouldn't be too hard to defend. I don't think, because I don't think they broke comp or anything. So, shouldn't be too hard.
I don't want them ruining my base though. Ooh. <laughs> the raid was over faster than it started. Too easy. <laughs> what a way to start this wipe. They had clearly hoped for an offline raid and so it was an easy defense. 18 rockets, Jesus. <laughs> After fixing up the base, one of the guys from the raid came over to my base. Come with me, come with me. I'm gonna give you something. Just come naked. Pretty sure this is the raider. Come. It turned out it was the people living right next to me. And well, they were quitting the server. And so they gave me their entire base. Now, I usually don't take charity from people, but since I was doing such a big project here, I would take any help given to me. And I'm glad I did, because as I was going through their boxes, I noticed something that was essential for this video. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, they have perfect clones! Oh! <laughs> Rob, never been so happy. I, don't, I never take bases, but I, I was just gonna take resources. What the fuck? Yes, god clones for yellow, blue, and red berries. These are insanely annoying to get your hands on, and so getting them here just saved me a lot of time. Anyways, I grabbed an inventory of the best stuff and I headed back to my base. I did cargo ship and oil rig. Ooh. That's alright. Then later on, someone was taking large, and so I headed over to counter. Oh fuck, mini's gone. Yeah, mini's gone. Bro, oh, where's the second guy? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what are these guys doing, man? Free loot. Ooh. I will take that. You're taking Bradley with no meds. <laughs> Ooh. I think I'm just gonna take this full kit and run and get out. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Let's fucking get out. What is going on here? Is that a raid base? What the... Bro, <laughs> Who am I playing against? Lack. Just all doesn't matter. Well, the plan was to start on the farm base, but I just keep getting distracted by PvP. I mean, I don't even care about this loot.
If I die, I die. I don't care. Fuck it. Let's finish this raid. I'm probably going to die to, gr to a fucking grub somewhere. Just sitting waiting. Ah, uh, fuck it. There's the grub. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I mean... Too many fucking grubs, there's nothing I can do. But no. This is not what we <laughs> were supposed to do. I got carried away and I started PvPing because I got bored. But that is not what we're here to do. We have a big fucking project to do. One of the biggest projects ever. And if I don't get a move on, we're gonna have force wipe soon. So I do want to check something. I might check out the people in X11. Yeah, because if they're online, could try and do a, do a raid on them. Like I have quite a few rockets and... They have a farm base and everything, so like they, they could be pretty loaded. So yeah, I had some rockets from the raid defense, and I thought this base would be fun to raid. But it didn't look like the people who lived here were online, and so this would have to wait. And yes, at this point the plan was to put down a wall around this entire little lake where the farm base would be going. But I started shooting AK shots outside of my base, and I just couldn't help myself, and so I went to check it out. Fuck! I <laughs> downed him. I win. And then after this I started hearing explosions over by the compound I wanted to raid. And so I headed over to see what I could do. Well the people I was checking out earlier, I think they're getting raided. I'm gonna grab a shit your gun and come back. No idea how I'm gonna get out of this. Oh, bro, that guy's fucking trolling. 
I don't understand. Is that not his base? That has to be his base. Maybe there's just no loot in there. I don't know. Because that guy, whoever's in that tower is acting weird as fuck. I got too many guns. I don't even know what I'm, why I'm really running this home. I guess I could sell the guns for silver. I wasn't really sure what was going on here, but I managed to kill the raiders and they had given up on the raid at this point. I also had a guy sitting in this other base just popping shots and not really defending or anything even though he clearly lived there. I decided to grab 4C4s and then go over there just to see how far I could get. Okay, 4C4s. Now let's see if we can't get anything from this. Like at least give me something. Give me the TC. You fucking pussy. Oh man. Should have brought more explosives. Fuck. Oh, I should have brought more expo ammo. Since the owner of the space never really tried to push or defend, I was able to F1 behind the base, respawn back in base, grab a few more explosives and then run back to finish the raid. Okay, I guess. Not really profit in sulfur, but I'll take it. Okay, let's see TCB loaded. Oh, uh, I'll take that actually. That's nice. Gear sets, I guess. I sealed up and secured the base. But the area was just too hot at the minute. And I was getting camped by both the base owners and counters. And so I decided to just wait and let the area cool off for a bit. And I went to get something to eat. But the people living here must have had the rockets in the other base because as I was away, they raided back into the base. Luckily I still had some rockets left in my base, and so I grabbed the rest of them to raid it again.
Oh. What? They really did that? How? Uh, that was such a waste. Should only be one more door down. Uh, that's sketchy as fuck. Guess I got these loot rooms too now though. That's kinda nice. Loot from here. And this time I didn't leave the loot inside and I transferred everything from this base to my. Also, the guy that door camped me earlier during the raid was a new guy who had moved in right next to me. And well, he just lived way too close for comfort. And so I also raided him. One more raid, then we can go to bed. This friend is going great. Actually not a bad raid. With two of my closest neighbors now gone, this whole area was basically mine. And so in peace, I could now finally start working on the farm base. First, I wanted to place a wall around this entire valley, just to secure this area even more. But for that, I needed a lot of wood. And luckily, the first day on the server, I collected a lot of berries, since I thought I needed it if I wanted gold clones. But since I'd already gotten gold clones in another way, I could now just use the berries to craft a pure wood tea. And with that, I found all the wood I would need for this wall. Yeah. There should be enough wood to at least wall up the area where we're going to build the farm base. First, I started placing down the TCs. Okay, TCs are basically halfway done. Okay, it started to look good. Start to get somewhere. Done! Fuck yeah. Bro, this is gonna be so much work. I mean, the wall is kind of the easy part. Like, th that should be done in no time, but then I'm gonna have to farm a lot of stone. Oh, should be fun. Then I placed down all the gates around this area. That way I would be able to enter and exit this compound from anywhere. I crafted most of the wood I'd farmed into walls and then just started placing them down. Okay, wall is halfway done. Okay, like 20 walls left and it's done. I mean, the easy part is done. With the wall finished, this entire area was completely safe and I could start the construction of the world's biggest farm base. But I quickly ran into a problem with the train. It became too deep to place down the foundations. Of course, this was a really easy to work around, but that would make the cost of this building basically double. 
Ah, fuck. <laughs> it's too deep. Ah, it's gonna cost so much more. <laughs> Why? Oh, this is so weird. Oh, I didn't think about... I didn't think it was gonna be too deep. I didn't think about that. Probably should have checked before I walled this all in. Because I could have gone down the way. Like, this is all free. <laughs> oh. Man. I mean, it does look cool. This looks cooler. But still. Come on, just that twig. I mean, this is probably gonna cost about 100,000 a day. To upkeep. Uh, that, that would be fine. <laughs> That's not too much, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. A big problem with a base of this size would be the upkeep. Because, well, your TC only has 24 slots for resources. Meaning that if the base upkeep goes up too much, this timer would go down. And this timer would basically be the decider for how much sleep I could get. And I had to try and figure something out, because the upkeep we were heading for right now, I basically wouldn't be able to sleep for more than 2 hours before the TC would run out of resources and the base would start decaying. But I managed to come up with an okay solution. Oh, okay, I'm just making the outer thing stone and then the inner is gonna be wood. So yeah, I would make anything you could see from the outside stone and then leave the rest twig. Hopefully this would be enough. As you could guess, this base would cost a lot to build. And so I had a ton of farming to do. Luckily for me, I had gotten a few pure ortes from that raid earlier. And so I could use that to speed up the farming a bit. Also, so I got as much as possible out of every single orty, I used stashes and small boxes to depot everything I farmed. That way, if I died, the loss would be minimum. Okay, the outline is done. Now it's time to start filling it in. Okay, what's the upkeep looking like? Is it bad? Ooh, this is gonna be so expensive, it's actually gonna be nuts. Just fucking upkeeping this is gonna be a full time job. <laughs> Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. I'm probably just gonna leave all this twig because I've seen the upkeep so far and if I wanna have any chance of this actually working and being productive at all, this needs to be as cheap as possible. And now we just fill it in. This is what I meant with the world being the easy part of this <laughs> of this work. I'm interested honestly to see what the upkeep will be on this. I think it's gonna be fucking nuts. Jesus. We're already at 20,000 stone and 10,000 wood. Oh, this is this is nuts bro this when this is finished this is gonna going to look so nice okay we're starting to get somewhere. I mean, it's still in the early stages, but it started to look pretty good. The fuck? Okay. 
Bro, look at... <laughs> yeah, upkeep is really going to be the big struggle. Because I need to sleep. Like, yeah, I can farm the upkeep, like, fast enough. But if I can't fill this TC enough to actually sleep... That's going to be a problem. I continue just farming up stone and wood. And the base was really starting to come together. But of course, this is rust. And someone just had to come along and ruin it. They're shooting at my twig. They are! <sighs> yeah, that's going to be a problem. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I need to finish this wall. It's the U18 people. So this wouldn't happen again, I stoned up this entire side of the base. Yeah. Yeah, fix the damage they did. Oh, I'm shooting at my Sam side. Did I shoot it out? I'm too tired to get traded right now, please. I'm way too tired to get traded right now. Did he survive? I think he died. And well, just a few minutes after this, I saw a raid base being built outside of my base.
Fuck, did I kill me? I touch healing now. Fuck, oh, man. No! How are you not dead? After two hours, I finally managed to seal. This raid was over and I had somehow managed to pull off a win. And the people who had tried raiding me here were part of the big group that lived out in the snow next to me. Easy. That's a victory, I think. I hope so. God, I hope so. Fucking hell. Oh, I was so uh, bro. I'm so fucking. After sealing and fixing up the base, it was back to the farm base. And well, I had some more farming to do. And well, with all the farming I had done so far, I started racking up quite the collection. What the fuck are you trying to do? I met this guy named Solo, and as you might guess, he was another solo player and he lived right next to me. 
And well, he and I started talking and he also had no love for the clan that had raided me. And he had actually already started taking out turrets in their compound and he wanted to raid them. Only problem was he didn't have enough sulfur for the raid. And so we put all our sulfur together and crafted it into rockets. Then with that we headed over to raid the clan. Garage done and blood hatch. Oh my god. Actually, you can go down. Then just. Uh, wait. I should. Okay, I should. Yeah. Okay, we can splash. <laughs> I think they have like everything in the fucking bunkers. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Oh, oh, ooh, metal. <laughs> like, no much, but nothing. Oh, sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Oh, nice. Much, but like, actually. Yeah, yeah. I need a stone. Actually, they will have like everything in here. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I filled my pockets with all the stone from this and I brought it back to my base. I crafted some more rockets and then I headed back to finish the raid. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh my. Look at the cards. What the fuck? Jesus. It's not like untimed here. Oh! Look at this fucking. What oh the. Oh my god. Fuck, man. Okay, we're mine. Some. Mm, slow one. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a bunker, bro. Oh my god. Oh, look at these, uh, like, uh, laptops and uh, camera in here. Oh my god. Jesus. No fucking way. We managed to reach TC and then we ran out of rockets. Uh, but we also soft sided through an armored wall. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh. Look, look, look like uh, the comp spade. Look. Jesus. Look. Man, we can split like this, okay? Take it, and we can actually split Jesus. It. I grabbed an inventory of the best loot, and then I let Solo keep the rest. And using all the stone they had so kindly provided for me, I could finish the entire farm base. Hey, almost done. Just need to fill in the roof, and then we can start, start the farming. Upgrade. 
I am a bit scared how how much the cost is gonna go up. Cause this could be nuts. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> Oh, it's almost done. Oh, fucking hell, bro. Let's check this. Upkeep on this. Bro, what the fuck? 80,000, what the fuck? It's done. Yeah. Okay, now it's time to start the farming. <laughs> oh. Okay, at least the base is done now. Now we just need to, I guess, decorate it, place down all the planter boxes. I don't know if I can do the two-story thing because that's way too many boxes. Like, that is nuts. So I think I'm just going to go for the bottom one. I'm just going to fill that entire thing. This is... Fucked, bro. <laughs> so yeah, going into this way, I was sure that building the farm base would be the hard part. But I couldn't have been more wrong. No, now came the hard part. Setting up the actual farming stuff like electricity, water and planter boxes. Because well, I don't really know how to do that stuff. I mean, I know what I need, but not really where it goes or how it works. Would have been smart to learn that before this wipe, but I thought it would be more fun to learn it as the wipe progressed. Spoiler alert, it really wasn't. I set up all the electricity, water pumps and a few planter boxes, which only took me about 5-6 to six hours. Yeah, as I said, not as fun as I had thought. Then just as I had finished this, I saw movement in the raid base. What the fuck? Now, I hadn't raided the raid base because, well, I raided their main base. And I had even gone over there a few times while out farming and they hadn't even sealed up our breach. And so I just figured they had quit. But clearly they must have had some allies or something on the server because now they were back, this time with more people and more boom. What the fuck? Um... How the fuck? Fuck, man.
my god. They're such fucking pussies. Bro, fucking hell. Fuck off. Again. Fucking hell, there's like ten of them. Fucking hell, man. I think I just need, I think they're out now of explosives. What the f fuck, man? Are you fucking. At this point the raid was basically over, I mean I didn't have much of a base left to defend. And so it was time to just try and save as much loot as possible. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked, but they're not gonna get the all the loot. If an eight man raids you and they send 36 MLRS rockets, you're kinda fucked. Oh my god, okay, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, they have my. Oh, that's not good. I would just like to say that at this point I had been awake for 30 hours and so before you judge me, just know that. But yeah, I fucked it hard. After this I just let them do their thing for the next hour or so. I 
And then when they had finally left, it was time to check out the damage. And on top of everything, I started getting camped. Eventually they left and I could seal the compound. But the main base wasn't really a big deal. What really hurt was what they had done to the farm base. Oh. Griefed. Um, bro. Has it started decaying yet? Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to. So yeah, the farm base was griefed. And the king. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a GG. I don't think I've ever been so close to giving up on a wipe. But I had saved basically all my sulfur earlier during the raid, and so I decided to see if I couldn't save the base before everything decayed. Because if it did, there was no way. I would do all that again, and this whole wipe would have been for nothing. With only minutes to spare, I managed to ungrieve the farm base and save it from decaying. But at this point, I needed to get some sleep. And so with pride, I went to bed. The next day, with the help from Solo, we raided and griefed the raid base. I had learned my lesson from last time. And then since I had basically nothing at this point, I also did some farming. I fixed up the farm base and luckily they hadn't touched the electricity. And so I could start farming. But here is where my lack of knowledge surrounding farming came into play. Because first of all I had placed the lights too high and so the berries weren't getting any light. And so I had to redo all that and I moved everything down a level. That worked and I could now start using the farm base for real. Yep, that's time to upgrade the base. I am not getting raided again. So yeah, I hadn't really fixed up the base since it got raided. And so I quickly just fixed it up. Then I just continued farming. But as I started adding more and more planter boxes, the sprinklers stopped giving out water for some reason. Even though I could see it had plenty of water in it, and the sprinklers looked like they were working. And so I spent the next 4 hours trying to figure out why this was, which was very fun. 
pet eventually I figured out that one pump can only supply water for six sprinklers. Even if you clearly should be able to add more, you just can't. It also doesn't help that there's a glitch that makes it look like the sprinkler is working. Anyways, this complicated things. And the water system I'd built so far, I basically just had to take down and start over. But I figured out an okay solution. Instead of one big water station, I would have many small ones. Using three solar panels, one medium battery, two water pumps and one water purifier. And I would have to place a station like this for every six sprinkler. And now that I had figured that out, it was smooth sailing from there on out. I started filling up the boxes with berries, and I also opened up a shop selling teas for HQM and tarp. Starting to get somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I still have a fucking long way to go. I'm gonna start mass producing teas now. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking kidding me, man. I fixed up the damages a second time, but it was like no one on the server wanted me to succeed. Because right after this, another group came over. Am I getting baited? What the fuck? So shit. Oh. 
So yeah, this group came over, shot around 30 incendiary rockets on my main base and as I was distracted here, one of them pushed up, raided into my farm base and just destroyed all the planter boxes. They came back once more but I managed to fight them off. Then I fixed up the base, but basically all my progress in the last 6 days were gone. Okay, I think, hopefully the base is safe now, I mean, if someone wanna raid the farm base now, it's like, I don't really care. Because I have to replace all the planter boxes anyway. Oh, it's so annoying. The one thing I was struggling to get my hands on was planter boxes. And so yeah. This really just sucked. I went to bed and the next day I tried coming up with an idea to get my hands on planter boxes. I mean I would need around a thousand of them and so this was crucial. And that's when I saw that they were selling planter boxes at Bandit Camp for Scrap. And so I headed down into the train tunnels, then I ran that all the way over to Bandit Camp. And there I recycled basically everything, and with the scrap I bought as many planter boxes as I could get. And then I just did this for the next two days. Running the tunnels, recycling all the components, buying the planter boxes, and placing them down. Tunnels, recycle, planters, place. Tunnels, recycle, planters, place. Tunnels, recycle, planters, place. For two days straight, while also placing down these stations after every six sprinkler. But then it was finally done, and I could start planting. Hey, first batch. Bro, I wonder how much this will actually give me. Like look at this, even, <laughs> even after I've done this, they are already like done, if I want to clone them. Like, that is nuts, bro. <laughs> like, bro. I don't know how I did this. Oh my god, I am tired. I mean, the only bad thing about this is now I'm too tired to actually use the teas. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have no use for them. Because I've played now for... Let me see, how many, how many days have I played for? I have played now for 9 days. 9 days this took me. I mean it would have taken a lot shorter if people didn't come to serve me all the time but you know, now okay, I just live out my days here on this server as a happy farmer. I mean like 400 planter boxes later, a lot of solar panels, batteries and windmills and we are finally done. Oh yeah, now I just want to see how much we actually get. Then as time passed and the berries started to grow, I just stood there looking at them. I honestly couldn't believe that I had finally done it. The world's biggest farm base was finally complete. Now I just wanted to know how many berries this would give me. Okay, I thought I would be able to fit all the berries here, but this is basically like a bit more than half. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh my god. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, check out this one where I walled off the most overpowered monument in Rust. Or check out this one where I built an unraidable water base. Also, thank you guys for everything.